Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I wanted to talk to you today about choosing the right fig tree pot. If you're one of my subscribers, thanks for following the channel. If not, please consider hitting the subscribe button and stay tuned for a lot of great and informative videos on your fig tree. Which pot you should be using for your fig tree? There's a right pot to use and there's a wrong pot to use. And I'm going to help you figure out which one is best for you. So, taking a look here, starting from the right, we have your traditional black pot. Okay, nice and round, black. So many people grow things in pots that look like this. Then we got this square pot. Then we got a fabric pot. And then we have our paint bucket, or paint pail pot that is usually white in color, although they do come in different uh, colors and is usually not as wide from the top as some of the other ones that are about the same size, but is usually longer. Okay. So the best things about this pot, I would say, is if you have a plant that has deep roots okay and i believe figs usually their roots do not go i mean the majority of their roots usually are more shallow they're not very very deep although you know when i have up potted i do see uh the, the some roots are way down at the bottom okay but i believe the majority of the roots are usually near the top so personally i don't think there's a major advantage to having this depth. Now, in my situation uh, where room, I need space, uh, is a thing, having a, a narrower pot like this as opposed to, say, maybe this square one uh, works really well because I could kind of uh, get more of them in. Uh, although it's not that great to have your figs too close together because you don't get sun penetration. So I'm starting to think that maybe this pot is not the right kind of pot for my environment, okay? Um, a lot of people love this pot because it's, it's very inexpensive and it seems to last. Uh, these kind of pots are thin and they don't last for very long, but even though they're, they're pretty cheap and they're light, they don't last very long. A pot like this uh, could stay with you for a very long time. So for me, I believe that this pot is definitely not a good pot. Uh, it's not a, a good choice. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to uh, sacrifice some of my figs uh, because I don't have room and I have way too many fig trees. All right, the other bad thing about this pot is the shape. The shape is circular. And a lot of circular pots have a problem when you keep a plant in there for a very long time because of what's called circling roots. The roots like to hit the edge of the pot and start circling around. That in turn ends up choking your, uh, your tree uh, as the roots circle and it is very bad for your tree. So this is where we, uh, you know, fig growers every few years pull the, the thing out of the pot in the fall and uh, root prune to get uh, a lot of the roots that are on the edges away from that circling. And then we add more um, uh, potting mix so that uh, new roots can, can grow in, okay? Uh, now, root pruning, is a, it's a pain in the ass, and, you know, it, it kind of sets the tree back a little bit, depending on the variety. A lot of fig trees don't like being pruned like that. In fact, some trees don't even like getting pruned at the top, which, you know, we usually do every fall to contain the size. So, you know, what happened uh, with that is somebody thought they could solve that problem with this. Uh, 
the the growing bags okay and i'm going to talk about that next but i just wanted to mention one more bad thing about this uh now this would be a bad thing for me because i live in a very cold climate and in my climate um it's very cold like right now is really cold and in the early uh spring it's very cold so what happens is the sun will come out in the day and at night it'll get really cold and what happens during the day the sun kind of hits that pot and warms it up a little but then at night it's cold now if that pot was black even a dark color but black seems to retain the most amount of heat and that heat will keep those roots nice and warm okay and it will help your plant uh, break dormancy and it will help your uh, tree to get going a lot faster because you know a lot of people think that you know it, the, the the tree needs warmth on the leaves and on the branches to get uh, to get going in the spring and and that's kind of true but the majority of where it needs heat is right down in the pot to heat up those roots to get those juices flowing so they could crawl up that tree and get your your leaves going all right so uh that's where you know a pot like this is is a little bit better because uh, it is black and you know we still have the circling roots problem uh but it's also a lot lighter so you can get it off a lot easier and get your tree uh, pruned a lot quicker and uh you know those circling roots are still an issue but your pot is lighter and uh, that's the advantage really of of that i don't really see uh, any more advantage here other than the color so i would say you know if your choices were between this and that uh, i would and i can get a black one of this i would definitely definitely go with this okay uh, the other advantage this has besides being black is it's a little bit wider on the top and as we mentioned earlier uh, fig roots generally are more towards the top than towards the bottom so it gives them a little bit more room and you'll probably get a little bit more growth and a little bit more fruit onset when um, your tree is doing healthier uh, there's a theory out there that uh, you know, if you keep your, your fig tree in a, a smaller pot, the roots kind of get condensed and it pushes, uh, it pushes, uh, you know, your, your fig tree to grow more on the top than on the bottom. You know, I, I kind of believe in that a little bit, but I've, I've also seen the opposite happen. So I, I think it kind of depends on the type of fig tree you have. Uh, you know, not all fig trees are exactly the same. Different ones grow in different ways, okay? And that's part of the reason why I have so many different fig trees, you know, because each one of them has a, a different ripening time, a different way to grow, different flavor, and so forth. So that kind of brings us to our third, I would say, round uh, pot. And it's this... This grow bag, this I believe, grow bag is the worst for me possible option. Okay, for me because I live in a very cold climate. Um, I definitely believe that uh, even this uh, plastic white uh, bucket is better than this as far as giving warmth. Okay, uh, this tree right now is sitting pretty much on this cold ground and is being the cold weather is getting to it like crazy because you know there's only so much protection that this fabric is going to give over uh, this plastic pot and, and being on the ground like that the roots are are so cold it really does hinder the growth uh, of this tree uh, the other thing is watering uh, you know, watering is, is terrible here. You water it. You know, now, you know, the, the good news is people say that, you know, fig trees don't like to sit in water. 
but this is overboard. I mean, you water this thing and the water is instantly gone. It's, it's always dry. I'm always worried about it drying up. Um, I have it on a drip irrigation. Um, there is an advantage to these, okay? So what I've been doing with these is I've been using them for my ground bagging method, okay? And the ground bagging method, I, I did discuss this in another video. It's basically, and what I do for this, okay, for, for the trees that I have in ground bags, I actually have a plastic pot, okay, that I will put this bag in the plastic pot over the winter, so that the roots kind of stay warm and in the spring I keep it in that plastic pot I allow it to leaf out and you know get started and then I put holes right around about six holes in this uh, bag all around about a one and a half to two inch hole all around six to eight holes and then I dig a hole in the ground and I put that tree in, okay? And what that does is it allows it to uh, get all the nutrients from the actual ground, uh, all the benefits of the bugs and the insects and everything that is uh, in the ground. And uh, definitely uh, you get better tasting fruit, uh, you get better growth, you get more f uh, fruit onset, uh, you know, depending on the soil of where you are. So that's, uh, with the exception of this tree, you know, it was just in this ground, ba in this uh, fabric bag, and I never really changed it. It's a pretty tough little tree, LSU Hollier. Um, I have uh, a bunch of them uh, because they, uh, they do put on uh, quite a bit of figs, and uh, they're pretty early. As you can see, this tree is is almost empty so so that's kind of these bags now if I lived in uh, maybe Florida California and I did not um, you know I wanted to keep my fig tree in the pot and I was worried uh, about the temperature of the uh, pot getting too hot because sometimes you know if you're if you're in a, a thing like this a pot like this and you live in an extremely hot climate okay and especially if it's on interlock like this i actually suffered one year here this summer got way too hot and these black pots got way too hot and uh it ended up really hindering the performance of the tree because the roots were getting cooked it's almost like being in an oven okay and the way to remedy that and i will show you a, a a tree that i have that i i did that with is to put uh, foil silver aluminum around the pot and that will kind of reflect the sun away from the pot and it will uh, it will get your your pot not to heat up as much and there's there's one there that it was done to okay so um, so that covers those three okay and then finally my last pot okay and I believe for me in my area this is the best pot that you can have okay if you live somewhere else I would say even even if I lived in Florida or California or anywhere I would still go for this pot maybe with a different color I might not go for like black if I lived in Florida or Arizona but if I wanted to keep my uh, fig tree in a pot um, I would go with this why do I go with this well the square shape of the pot helps the roots to not circle and kill or choke the tree um, the shallowness of the pot is kind of what the figs want. They, they grow their roots shallow, okay? And um, this pot kind of, if you see the, the legs here, the legs kind of fill up with water, okay? So there's a little bit of water down the bottom and naturally that's 
that's what figs like. They like to get their water from the bottom. Um, a lot of fig growers will put a pipe, uh, like a, a conduit or something, down to the bottom of the pot, and they'll water in that conduit so that the water goes to the bottom, okay? And the fig tree drinks its water from the bottom. Uh, in the Mediterranean, it doesn't rain during the summer. Summer is summer. Every day is sunny and no rain. Uh, their rainy season starts in the fall. So fig trees that are uh, indigenous to that region, uh, that's the way they grow. They grow without water coming in from the top. And they their roots basically get the water from under the ground. Okay? And, you know, eventually when a fig tree gets really old, it gets a, a deeper root. And that root taps in and starts sucking water from the bottom of the ground. Uh, that's why a lot of fig trees, uh, people here, growers, they have a lot of problems with what's called fig rust. When your leaves start turning red and uh, it looks like almost like a rust. Kind of like, kind of like this. I'm not too sure if this is fig rust or not. But, and that comes from a lot of the rain. In this case, it's probably uh, the cold weather that we're getting right now. But uh, that is is basically what I have to say. So this pot is perfect for me. One, because of the shape. Two, because it allows the fig tree to get its water a little bit from the bottom. I do, I do still water from, from the top, but eventually the water settles at the bottom and, and the fig tree uh, gets its water from there. Uh, the shape is black. Uh, I mean, the color is black, which is fantastic for for me and uh, the plastic is is good it keeps the the roots warm um, even you know when you set them up beside each other it's kind of nice because of the shape it's not round I feel like I'm maximizing on the amount of soil or potting mix that I'm giving my tree so that's my take on pots um, you know, now, mind you, if you do live uh, in a warm climate and you want to go for this fabric kind of pot and maybe you have like a drip irrigation uh, where water is, is no object for you, then that's a that might be a viable option. But uh, as far as I know, people that live in uh, in California, you know, during the summer, it gets very dry and water is an issue and you're not even allowed to water on certain days. So I don't see even why they would want to have a pot like this. I would still go with a square pot and I would go with a, a, a lighter color. Now, if I lived in California again, I wouldn't have my fig trees in pots. I would definitely have them in the ground and uh, allow them to benefit from all that the ground lets your trees benefit. So that's my take on pots um uh, our season is over pretty much for this year so i hope uh, you had a great fig season again if uh, you're new to this channel uh please hit the uh subscribe button and uh enjoy content that i have and what's coming thanks for watching We'll see you soon.